question about GRE math. Here's our video response. Ask one of them. Happens to be QC, so from quantitative comparison. And the question went something like this. So 35% of 58, or 58% of 35. Okay? So obviously, they don't want you to compute this and waste your time. So a way to think of it is, what are they really asking this problem? They're just testing to see if you understand what percentage is. So one way to think of this is, it's really 35% is 35 parts out of 100, right? And you're doing this out of 58. But just for convenience, all right, this is 58 over 1. Same thing, right? Look over on this side. This guy is 58 parts out of 100, right? On what? Acting on 35. So same thing as 35 over 1. Now the comparison is super easy. So I play this fraction game. The tops of these fractions are exactly the same. The bottoms are exactly the same. So these guys have to be the same number. So I guess in this choice case, sorry, it would be C. Both of them are equal. So let's look at that same problem, but now let's do it a, second, a different way. Same thing. In fact, I'll pick different numbers. So maybe now we'll say 98% of 21 or 21% of 98. Again, from what we just did, it's very obvious that these guys are going to be the same, right? But another way to play this, if you don't like fractions, is think of it like this. What you're really doing is you're doing 98 times 21 over here, and you're doing 21 times 98, not including the percentage. But you know if you convert to, the percentage, to a percentage, you're really moving two decimal places over. So 98% is 0.98, and 21% is 0.21. These guys are equivalent. Right? But look at what you're doing. When you multiply these guys, it's 98 times 21. It's 21 times 98. Those numbers are exactly the same. How do you decide how many decimal places go in your answer? You count the number, one, two, decimal places here. But also over here, one, two. So same numbers, same number of decimal places, got to be the same answer.